Hello everybody, welcome to another part in the Remaking Doors series. Today we're going to be learning how to do is how to implement closets into our Doors game. So let's just get right into it. So as you can see here, I have a um, closet model that I made. Um, it's pretty simple. All it is, is it has, so let me just go through everything. Also, this will be linked in the description. So inside the closet, it has like the main closet, all the parts. It's just like a box. Then I have two doors, which are right here. And both of those doors are inserted inside of the, a folder inside of the closet. And that folder is called doors. Then I have a primary part, which is the, the whole size of the entire um, closet. And that is just named primary part. And inside of that, it has a prompt. It has an attachment called prompt attach, which is in like the middle of the uh, closet. And the closet's primary part is set to that primary part. The next thing I have is two root parts, which these root parts will determine where the players, um, like where the player will, like when the player enters, it'll be in this root part. When the player leaves, it'll get put into this root part right here. So again, link to this model will be in the description in case you guys don't know really what you're doing. I will link this model in the description for you guys to take and use. So let's go ahead and put that back inside replicated storage. Another thing I implemented is inside of all of my hallways, I inserted a new folder called closets. And inside of that folder, there's a folder called models. And then there's a folder called templates. Inside of the templates is a closet template. And what this is, is all I did was I took the closet, duplicated the primary part, and I use that as the template because when we're setting the uh, primary part of the closets, we want it to be like the actual size of like the, we want the templates to be the actual size of the closet. So all I did was duplicate the primary part and I used these as my templates in all of my rooms. So. And as you like, you can see if I go into left turns, well, in left turn, there's nothing but in long hallway, there's, clo there's a closets folder, right turn is a closets folder, short hallway, the closets folder. And actually, you know what, while I'm at it, let me just go ahead and show you exactly how to do it. So let's go ahead and insert left turns into um, workspace. Go ahead and insert my closet model. And all I did, duplicate the primary part. I'm going to drag it out. Make sure that you know which way the closet's facing. So the closet was facing this way, right? So this is the front of it. So let me just set this to 0 0.5 and red. So what I did was this is the front you're going to drag to which way you want the closet to face. So I want the closet to face this way. So, you know, have it like that. And then maybe they'll have another closet. Make sure you rotate it again. It's facing this way. Make sure you rotate it correctly. And I'll have one facing like this. And actually I'll put this closet over here. All right, that's good. Next thing I did was I just um, renamed all of them to just, uh, let me just closet template. Then when I did, I made a folder called closets. And inside of the, well, actually, let me get rid of these two. So I made a folder called closets inside of the hallway. Then I made two folders inside of that folder called models and templates. And we can insert our templates into that templates folder. And there's nothing inside of models yet. So let's just go ahead and put that back in there. So let's go into our generation code so we could start scripting the closets. So what we're going to do is we're going to code right above this furniture folder function. When we get the furniture folder inside of a clone room, we're going to get the closet folder. So what we're going to write, we're going to say local closet folder equals clone room colon find first child closets. So we're getting that, um, that closets folder. Then we're going to say is we're going to say if closets folder, then making sure that there is actually a closets folder um, for uh, actually, no, no, no. First, what we're going to do, let's get both of the folders inside of the closets folder. So we'll say local template folder, closet folder, call for child templates. So we're just getting both of those folders inside of the closets folder. 
next up what we're gonna do is we can say um if template folder then uh for i actually wait for i comma template in pairs template folder colon get children do then what we will say is we'll make a new closet so we'll say local new closet actually wait no first before that let's go ahead and set the transparency of all the templates to one as well as having um the can collide and like and setting all those to false so we'll say template dot can collide equals false template dot um can touch equals false template dot can query equals false we'll say local new closet equals gain i mean replicate storage dot closet oh wait is it still in replicate is it still in okay make sure your closet isn't actually replicated storage Okay, so where's our closet clone clone new closet dot parent equals models folder new closet um dot primary part dot can collide equals false just this is a check so now if we hit run we should have closets in all of our rooms now let's go ahead and see so nothing in the start room uh okay something's not working um did I not set the parents? Uh oh, it's because I said clone door. No, make sure this is clone room, not clone uh door. Now it should work. Okay, that one's off. So that one is off and they are all over the place oh I, I i know what we didn't what we didn't do new closet colon pivot to um template dot c frame let's take a look okay and they are all set up properly don't worry about these these are just the uh root parts you can make these uh, i'll show you how to make those invisible okay looks good looks good looks good everything looks good okay so let's make those root parts invisible so to do this we'll just say um well actually let's define both of them because we're going to need them anyway local leave root part new closet colon five for child leave root part local root part equals oops, new closet colon five for child root part then let's make a new prompt so as you can as if you remember we made a that attachment in the primary part let's go ahead and just say local new prompt equals instance dot new proximity prompt let's also define that uh that proximity prompt so we'll say local uh prompt attachment equals new closet dot primary part dot prompt uh, or five for child prompt prompt attach and we could say if prompt attach then Okay, and we'll say new prompt dot parent equals prompt attachment. New prompt dot uh, requires line of sight equals false. New prompt dot max activation distance equals six. And um, is there anything else? No. Let's go ahead and test this out. Let's see if now all of our closets should have an pro a proximity prompt on them to interact with them. Go to this one. Yep, as you can see, we can. Is it, it obviously doesn't do anything yet, but there is now a proximity prompt on that one. Proximity prompt on that one. Proximity prompt on that one and that one. All right. Now we need to see if they interact with us. So we'll say new prompt dot triggered colon connect function 
player so like if player then so we're just checking for the player local character equals player dot character local humanoid root part equals character on five for child humanoid root part local humanoid equals character on find first child humanoid like that so we'll say if um we'll say if character colon find first child is hiding then else so what what we're gonna do is when the player hides we're gonna make a value in their character called is hiding so uh we'll see if that so if they are hiding then we're gonna leave but if they're not then let's go ahead and go through everything so we'll say local new string equals instance dot new string value um character new string dot parent actually actually new string dot name equals is hiding then we could just do um humanoid root part dot c frame equals uh root part dot c frame which we're getting up here which is in that uh in that closet then we're gonna go ahead and make it so that the player can't move because we don't want them moving around when they're in the closet so i have um in starter player this might say uh jump height you could just you could keep it jump height 7.2 or you can say uh character use jump power and it'll change the jump power which is what i'm gonna use so what we're gonna write after this we're gonna say humanoid dot walk speed equals zero so we're just setting that walk speed to zero then we're gonna say humanoid dot jump power equals zero so now uh you should be able to hide so let's go ahead and test that out you're not able to leave yet probably no you aren't able to leave yet because we haven't coded it yet but let's make sure we're able to hide and as you can see we're now in the closet and we can't get out because we haven't go to that yet so we'll say if character colon find for child is hiding then we're going to destroy that wet value and we'll hit enter enter on the on the then on the then then i can't talk and we'll just put a wait right right before that character colon find for child is hiding destroy so then what we're going to do is we're going to we can just copy this code and we can put it up here and we could say leave root part and then we'll set that walk speed back to 16 which is the normal which is what we have it set to and jump power to 50 so we're setting it back to the original values when you leave so let's go ahead and see so if we hide and then leave so if we hide we can't move leave we can move let's also just make sure that that uh, value is getting put in so it's hiding Ooh. just like that and you can hide in all different all the different closets and let's just see in this room as well can we hide in here yes we can can we hide in here yep all right so that is the basic closets working but we want to make it actually work so that if you're hiding in a closet rush can't kill you so let's get into that right now so first things first let's go into replicated storage let's go to our rush ai that we have and let's click on handler so this is what this basically is the code that we have that when we touch a player we kill them so let's go ahead and check to see if that value is in the character and if it is we won't kill them so we'll say if so up here where we say if h dot parent confirmation child humanoid then we'll also say and h dot parent i will actually say and not h dot parent colon find first child is hiding then so we're saying and if we don't find this value then we'll kill them but if there is that value we're not going to kill them so let's go ahead and play test this so room zero room one room number two and then on room number three the light should flicker and we should have a few seconds to react yep all right let's go ahead and hide and we see we sh should see rush go past us and we don't die and we can unlock i mean yeah we can unlock this door let's go to the next room and come up there we go oh, there's another key we need and 
and unlock this and then this room oh this one's locked too now this room should flicker and we should need to hide yep all right all right let's go ahead and go in here and we are able to hide from rush and we don't die when he comes and just to show you that he actually does kill if you don't hide we'll just go ahead and play through and we won't hide from him so let me find the key we won't hide we'll just stay out in the open and he should still kill us so let's say we go in here and then we get out of the closet he comes and we um die like we should so that's how you basically implement a basic uh closet system into your game uh this might be a two-part series because there's some stuff i do want to add to this but i don't want to make this too long of an episode um some stuff that i think would be cool is having like an actual like the door swing open and swing shut when you go into it and leave it um if you guys want to see that please leave it in the comments and i will make a video on that but um this is basically how you just this is how you insert a basic closet system where you can hide from russia that you don't die and you know you can hide from him um if you have any questions or concerns please leave them in the comments below if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comments below i love seeing you guys suggesting things um it gives me you know because i can't think of every idea to make for an episode so you guys suggesting stuff really helps me you know think of what to add next um if you enjoyed the tutorial you know hit that like button hits the subscribe button it really helps out the channel um and as always i will see you guys in the next one